Welcome back, Peer Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session. Today is November 2nd, 2021, here in Hawaii, and will be November 3rd, 2021, in London. Today, we'll be going over SP 500 gold and also oil, giving you guys some of the levels that we'll be looking at. So, again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. So for S&P 500, did have a nice bullish run again today, climbing up into those 46.27. So we are looking to see if this market gradually pulls back. For those who want this short, this is uh, going to be your area. Right around these 27, 26s, short it right back down, maybe into these 15, 16s. And I got a, I got a low support right around these uh, 12.50s to about um, 06, oh, 46.05 as a level down below so we'll see there is a little bit of a micro area which is going to be right around these 15 16 as you can see where we kind of held a little bit of support but we'll see if we can get through that level and then gradually pull down that's going to be a key area but if we do hold above these 05 to 07s that's going to actually be a probably a continued bull run if we continue to hold that uh, level as support and push higher. I do anticipate that happening. So we'll see what happens But again, I am looking for this to pull back just a little bit right around these 13 to about 1250s Then maybe find the first bounce if not look for 05 to 07 and then a bounce from there Now if we get below that look for the market to start to collapse back down into these 92s then about 45 87 and then 81 25 below 4571 and then 456025 as the next levels of support down below. Now moving over into a smaller chart, let's take a look at what we have on the smaller chart. So again, you can see markets slightly holding a micro area kind of right around these 1617. So we'll see if we actually break that level down or continue to hold it for a micro support to push back up. Main levels again down below 1250 and then below that 46.05 as the next level of support. Again, you could see it stop just shy of 05, stopping maybe somewhere around these 06 to 07s. If we do get that opportunity, we probably will look for a long if we're continuing to hold above 07, well, actually 05 uh, in the uh, coming into the US session. So we'll see, but we'll see how we react off the London session, see how far we actually get uh, down below, and then see what we get either a short or a long opportunity from there. Uh, but that's going to be our levels on S&P. Let's take a look over at gold. So right now, uh, for gold, we're actually anticipating a bounce of support. Uh, kind of similar to oil, but we'll move over to that afterwards. But gold, this is going to be a main level of support, 1780.4. Looking to see if this market gets maybe a nice double bottom right off that level and a push higher. Below that, 1776.4, 1770.1. And then all the way below that, it's going to be 1756.7 and... 51.3 now if we get that bounce look for the market to stall somewhere around these 87.9s and then if we can't get through that that may end up coming right back down on us uh, we are going to start to see maybe gold get a little bit more bearish if we get below or if we stay below these 87.9s and then push below those 80.4s we may end up seeing this start to chug down into our next levels of support uh, pulling all the way down maybe even to 1756.7 and then below that 1751.3 so again that could be the opportunities for the short if you stay below those 87.9s if not uh, look for the market to try to head back up into 1796.2 and then 1801.6 is the next level of resistance up above moving over into a smaller chart you can see here up on the smaller chart we did get a nice bounce right off that level 1780.4 I am looking for another rotation back. If we can get that support on another rotation back, a nice bounce from that area, looking to take off here at 18, I mean 1784, and then try to move it back all the way up into these 87.9s. So keep an eye out for that. That could be a good long opportunity off of gold if we continue to hold that. Now, for those who want to continue to short, if you haven't got it yet, you can continue. If we break down below these 80.4s, come back, retest, fail to get above it. Look for the next level down, 1776.4, and then below that, 1770.1. Uh, for those who want to be more patient, you could look for 84 as a resistance area, and or the best level up above is these 87.9s. If we fail to get through that, look for that short right back down.
that could be good opportunities there on gold. So keep an eye out for that. Now moving over into crude oil, crude oil is setting up for maybe a nice long opportunity here. You can see nice support coming in. 82.33 should be a decent area of support. Now, if you're going to go long from that area, look for the market to come right up into these 82.98s. That could be where you take off your first position. You definitely probably want to take it off that area because you should start to find some resistance coming into 83. And then again, you can see right up these 83.26s as the next level of resistance um, coming all the way into that. So again, for those who want this double bottom long, this is going to be a decent area of support. This is where buyers should end up stepping in. But again, you can see some micro levels you want to try to take some uh, profits at. Secure the bag here, right around 82.73. Next next level up, 82.96 uh, to about 97. And then above that, you can see right around 83.06, 83.26. Those are going to be the, the areas that you look out for as you try to catch this on. Now, if you want the short opportunity, you don't want to fade this back up. Look for the market to probably, I'm looking for the market to come back up into these 83.26s and then maybe get a nice short. But again, you could look for the micro areas right in between. If you can't break this, you could look for a short opportunity from there as well. Um, so that could be your opportunities for long and short uh, for crude oil as well. But that wraps it up for S&P 500 gold and also oil again if you guys do like these videos please go and smash that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys again if you guys continue to trade make sure you guys trade well you guys have a great night take care bye